What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have a pretty fun video today showing you how to enable drill through for any column or measure in your data model. This is a pretty important topic given that Power BI just came out with the functionality to allow end users to personalize visuals in the Power BI service. So if you had taken a lot of steps to enable drill through in your report, now an end user can actually change up a visual, change those fields and measures being used and your drill through might break. So this trick is going to show you how to keep that drill through enabled no matter what field or measures that the user selects to add to their visualization. As a quick demo, we can see that I have three visualizations on this page and a drill through button, which is not enabled right now. It's only enabled when you click on something that will allow the drill through from the summary page to the detail page. So we see that this column chart is total sales by start of month date. This donut chart is quantity by customer category name. And the tree chart is count of orders by color name. So these are three different measures using three different categories. But we can see that as we click on any of these charts, the drill through button will activate. So if we click on the donut chart as well, we'll see that drill through work. And finally, with that tree chart, then we can finally drill through to that detail page. And now we're just looking at that blue category that I had selected in that tree chart. So if a user does come in here and they want to personalize this visual, let's say I don't want to use total sales anymore. Let's say that I want to use another measure. Let's say 28 day rolling average. And let's change up our axis. Instead of using SOM date, let's just use day of week, something like that. So now this is a totally different visual, but we'll see that as I click on something like Monday, we can still drill through to the next page and it's gonna keep all the filters that apply to that single visual. So how do we set this up? Let's go ahead and go over to Power BI Desktop and I'll walk you through each individual step. It's actually very quick. Before we get into this trick, I wanted to let you know that we've just released our first live real world data set covering email marketing data from MailChimp. You can connect directly to the data to practice your Power BI skills and grow your project portfolio. So go check that out. It's over on the BI Elite training website. The link will be down in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this method. So we don't have any drill through action set up. I have created a drill through button and given it some formatting, but it doesn't really do anything now. In our detail tab, we don't have any fields or measures in our drill through well here. So no drill through is going to work. And we could add all of the possible measures and fields that users might initiate drill through from, but that's a little bit redundant. And if your data model changes, you don't wanna to have to keep uh, adding measures and columns to the drill through fields. You might forget about them. So this trick is going to show you how to add a single column to the drill through fields and allow drill through to work with every other column and measure. So let's go back to our summary tab. And the first thing we have to do is actually create a new table. So let's click on enter data and create a new table. I'm gonna call this table drill. And I'm actually gonna call this column drill through. Do not remove. And I'll show you why in just a second. And in the values, I'm actually gonna give this a single space. So in row one, that is a single space character. Let's click load. And that's going to load in this column called drill here on the right. So give that just a second to load in. So we'll see this new drill table with that column drill through do not remove. So now I'm gonna to go to the detail tab and I'm going to add in this single column into the drill through fields here. So now we have drill through do not remove in the drill through well. And we can go back to the summary tab. And now I just need to click on my drill through button and action and I want to drill through destination to detail. So this button is going to take us to the detail tab when this is enabled, when we click on a certain visualization that allows for drill through. And as of right now, that isn't any of these visuals. So we can click on anything and that drill through button is not enabled. Now for each individual visual, all we have to do is add in this drill through field where we can. So we can see that in the column chart, we can add this drill through field directly to the legend. And we see that we just need to make sure that the legend is not enabled. And now this drill through is going to work for this column chart. Similarly for the donut chart, we can add drill through to the details, which doesn't show anything differently. If you have something in the legend, we can just rename that title if we don't want this drill through do not remove to show, no big deal. And finally for the tree chart, we can do the exact same thing. So drill through right in there. And now each of these will actually work for drill through. So we can just click on this and take us to the drill through tab. And one thing I did forget to mention, but it's extremely important is that you need to make sure that keep all filters is on. That is what's going to enable your drill through action to keep the filters applied to that previous visual. So we see that SOM date is 9-1-2015 because that's what the column was that I clicked on. Let's go back to the summary page. So let's click on red and let's drill through to the detail tab. 
we see that our color name is red. And that's all we really have to do. Basically the only consideration is you need to make sure that this drill through column isn't showing anywhere in the visual. So as long as they leave this drill through field in the legend of this visual or wherever it is in the other visuals, they can change the axis and the values to be whatever they want. And the drill through action will still work and keep the filters applied to that visual when it navigates to that drill through page. So I hope you like this trick. This is a pretty quick one and pretty useful if you do have this use case where users are changing up visuals and you want to keep the drill through working as expected. So just a reminder, make sure you check out my training over at training.bielite.com. Also release that new live real world data set. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.